You ever want to look like all those girls you see on Instagram? But you just can't seem to figure out how to do it? Something about the poses, you just can't quite get it right. Well, today your luck has changed. Today I'm here to teach you the ways of the wild Insta-ho and let you in to her natural habitat. <laughs> what is up, beautiful people? It's Amber, welcome back to my channel. And today, as a self-proclaimed Insta-ho myself, I'm gonna let you into all the little behind the scenes secrets of what it really takes to take a good Instagram photo. We may make it look really easy and glamorous on the gram, but guess what? It's not, it's honestly all a facade, but that's kind of what Instagram is anyway. Social media isn't real, you guys, make sure you remember this. Anyways, point is, and it's really quite difficult and honestly kind of a sort of art form in and of itself. So today, I'm gonna show you a sneak peek behind the scenes, all the tea of what's really going on when we're trying to take a good picture. So without further ado, here we go. How to pose and take photos like an Instagram model. Prepare to be amazed, my darlings or just really blown away that anyone wastes their time doing this, but <laughs> here we go. Tip numero uno, preparation is key. Planning an Instagram photo is basically like a mini photo shoot. So you need to have your outfit, location, and concept ready to go before you start. Once you got this on lock, it's time to prep the most important thing of all, you. Tip number two, Makeup. All right, so for makeup looks, it kind of depends what vibe you're going for, whether you're doing Glamazon Barbie or whether you're doing I Just Woke Up Like This. Either way, this video is sponsored by my faves over at The Creme Shop, a fabulous beauty brand that's affordable but also luxurious and super high quality, which is, you know, my favorite thing. So, we got lots of things to help us do either look. First things first though, makeup starts with good skincare. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out with the Dead Sea Mud Mask, which is great because it gently exfoliates and tones and smooths the skin. Oh my goodness, look at her go. Maybe read some quotes about self-love and confidence while you do it and listen to some bad bitch music to get you in the mood to snap some pics. May I suggest my Spotify playlist, Certified Bobs? It's great. Look at that, rinse it off, baby freaking soft. We're gonna go ahead and start with the natural look, which I'm gonna go ahead and do just literally a quick BB cream on there, which this particular one is great because it's tinted with SPF, so literally you can just put that on and it looks like your natural skin. Light lashes on the side, foam ink, of course, because the whole brand is cruelty free, so we're just gonna trim those, stick those on, maybe, you know, <laughs> fill in my brows with a brow pencil because I shaved mine off, oops, and you know, that'll do the trick for your nice morning glory selfie. Lay on your pillow, prop your head up in the sunlight, oh. You will be cute, I promise. Okay, now if you're going full glam glam, there's more to be done. So for photos, more is more, so make sure you layer up. We're gonna go ahead and use the Match Made Foundation because it has color match technology, so it matches your skin tone and won't make you, you know, look crazy in your photos. We're also gonna use the contour palette because you need to contour to the gods for your photos. This is what makes you look hella snatched in pics. By the way, little nose contour will keep your nose on fleek too, which is a highly coveted Insta Ho trait. But most of all, you guys know my go-to, as I call it, the Insta Ho Glow. I'm gonna go ahead and wear two kinds of highlight. We're gonna do the cushion highlight right here. First, you put your index finger and middle fingers between the sponge and the band, push the sponge down into the cushion to absorb the product, and then you can just pat it and blend it in. Add a little bit of extra, extra, because I honestly just like to be dramatic, but honestly, the more the merrier. When it comes to highlight, this is what will make your pics pop. Of course, of course, since we are taking photos, we have got to use some Moon Dust Universal Setting Powder. Smooth texture, and it will keep your face in place for 12 hours. And since we might be taking photos for 45 hours, we definitely need this. Again, back to the lashes. We want to be able to kill a man with the flutter of an eyelash. So, like I said, these are foam ink and affordable, so you can wear these up to 25 times, and they're only 10 bucks, so a steal. Of course, of course, in true Instaho style, we gotta overline our lips because pouty duck face is and always will be in on Instagram, I think. So, <laughs> I mean, even if it's not, I love it. So we're gonna keep it up. Now we're looking ready to take some pictures. Next tip, let there be light. Okay, so there's lots of different ways to take your picture. Most of the photos on my Instagram are done with flash photography. I love flash photography because it just kind of brightens your highlight, matches my Instagram feed. It just is like personally my aesthetic, so that's how I take most of mine. But my other favorite is golden hour. It's called golden hour for a reason. It basically gives you the effect of flash, but in natural daylight. Oh, it just makes you look extra shiny, highlight extra poppin', and you just look extra frickin' fabulous. All the Instagram baddies take their photos in golden hour, kids. All of them, every single one. I also recently got a lighting kit. These are cool for more professional studio looking shots, but 
I mostly got these for videos, but these are super cool because you can see you can adjust the lighting from warm to cool. So even when it's pitch black outside, you can still take some fire pics. Everything really is good lighting. You don't need to buy expensive lights though. Get creative. Maybe even your desk lamp will do the trick. Okay, here we go, the real good stuff. Poses. First things first, never, ever, ever stand straight on. You want Kylie Jenner curves? You gotta create them. Angle your body to the side one way or another to match what looks best. Don't be afraid to get handsy. Use your hands. Like throwing your hands on your hips gives you a smaller waist because it conceals part of it. If you put your hands on your actual hips, it looks like you're hiding bigger hips, even though you're not. Very sneaky. I do this literally in every photo. All right, one of the biggest questions for the ages. How the hell do you take a good sitting picture? How are you supposed to look sexy when you're sitting? Sitting isn't sexy. You grow up and people teach you how to sit like a lady, but no one teaches you how to sit like an insta -ho, so thank God for me. But here we go. So how the heck do you take a picture sitting down without your fat rolls rolling around? Well, honestly, uh, it has taken me many years to figure it out, but here is how you do it. So leaning backwards is the best way to conceal this or put a purse in your lap. No one will ever know. Okay, now my specialty, selfies. I did a whole video before on how to take good selfies, so if you wanna check that out, you can. It's still got a lot of good tips in there, but here is the real tea. I think covering your face is probably the easiest way to take a good selfie. Putting your hands on your chin, your finger on your lips to push them upward and give them that, you know, pouty look. Move your hair to cover your face. They're all good insta baddie tricks. Time to be putting the shiz for the gram. Okay. You know those bathroom counter pics I'm talking about, but seriously, sitting on the counter is the best way to get your booty to look poppin'. Another good booty trick, twist your waist. Kind of pop your leg and move your hips a little bit and you go from flat to curvilicious. Even though it's all just in the angles. And I still can't twerk because I'm white, but. <laughs> Putting the camera angle down gives you a booty even when you don't have one. Notice how a lot of my pictures are taken from below. That angle, very flattering. Also on the subject of angles, if you want longer legs, pics from below will make you look hella tall, even though you're hella short. Also on the subject of angles, okay, so for some reason when you're laying straight down like this on a bed or flat surface, it's very, very flattering. I take a lot of pictures like this, but the only thing is if you're trying to take a picture of your body, just laying like a flat dead fish isn't exactly sexy. So give yourself that Kardashian curve by flipping your body and twisting. Look at that, mini waist, thick hips, thick chest. That's the secret. So if you're laying on your bed like this and you're just not looking as curvy as you would have hoped, well, <laughs> guess what? All you gotta do, put a pillow under it or just pop your booty right up. We love fake cake. <laughs> if you wanna get rid of your hip dips completely, basically bending your knee will kind of give the illusion of a little bit of extra fat there. So you can see, pop that up, boom. Thick, thick, thick. This is hilarious, this is such a lie. <laughs> um, you wonder why I want your insta hoes take pics like this? Boom, because you look hella thick when you're like that. Bonus tip, make sure you have the right tools. This literally changed my life. I got a tripod for my camera and a self timer. Wow, wow, wow. It connects via Bluetooth so you can literally take all your own photos. <gasps> Game changer. Let me freaking tell you. You know who took my Halloween pics? Me, photographer extraordinaire. <laughs> but remember, the most important tip of all, guys, it's probably just Facetune. No one really looks like that. Like that's literally a photo of me and honestly, I don't really even look like that. <laughs> like I said, just a good ankle. So don't stress it, Instagram is supposed to be fun and silly, and next time you see a perfect looking photo of someone on the gram, remember, they probably sat on their counter trying to get the perfect booty angle for hours. And if that doesn't make you crack a smile, I don't know what will. Like sometimes I literally take like 80 photos before I like any of them. Why? 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 It's a picture. Just live your life. Of course, if you want to shop any of the Creme Shop makeup, you guys can click the link in my description so you can be fabulous for the gram. And uh, most of all, don't forget this. True beauty is more than skin deep. Don't forget that either. And on that cheese ball note, I love you guys so, so, so very much. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for lots more Amber schooling. And uh, <laughs> get it, Amber school, LOL, Amber Shoal. I love you guys so, so, so very much. Kisses till next time, my little Insta-ho babies. So. I've been editing this video for like seven hours. <laughs> what if I just posted this? Would you guys like follow me? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it would be nice to see something real on there for once.